25 in which it occurs. It's going well. So the projects are very simple in terms of the social, economic, political paradigm that surrounds the IT, in this case, the online journal within the website of an organization that we're dealing with. We have the techno social paradigm, right? It's the struggle for the reproductive health is part of the big struggle of the women's health movement around the Philippines. The organization we're working with and its website is part of the struggle. So, organically, the project is linked to the feminist movements. And that's why I say at the micro level, the techno social paradigm is, is uh, the one we want to embed in the organization. The other assumption, of course, is that reproductive sexual rights are very different from human rights in the sense of well, previous human rights in the sense that these rights are the most embodied human rights and therefore deal directly with questions of intimacy, of the body, pleasure, and desire. And that's a, a very interesting nexus to look at when you look at uh, citizenship and, and rights and women claiming the those rights. So that's the other. The third big aspect of course is the struggle for reproductive so it's also very interesting. So essentially, that's where the research is, and that's what's coming out in terms of what are the hypotheses and assumptions we have to have for this particular research. helps to continue to ground the research in those bigger questions of identities, of sexuality, of political economy the big structures because, the, as I said, the micro area is, is fine. We, we are embedded in the women's movements, we're using the techniques of organizing that are gender sensitive and empowering, but it is a confrontation with large micro structures that need to be uh, unpacked and thought of uh, because these are the structures that are, that are impinging on the micro situation and these are the structures that are being interrogated. Right.